Welcome to this short video on DNS servers. Each website on the web has its own IP address which we have to use to access it, but we can't remember them all. So this job of translating domain names to their IPs is done by a DNS server. For example, if we have to access google.com, its IP address is resolved by a DNS server. Talking about the protocol that DNS uses, earlier there was a central body for carrying out this task, but now it's a distributed protocol. There are 13 servers and a huge number of zones. For the transport layer, DNS primarily uses UDP on port 53. However, if the response data size exceeds 512 bytes, it uses TCP. Bind is a renowned DNS server which is free and open source. We will now configure Bind on our machine. We prefer Linux for server configuration. I'm using Ubuntu. Go to Applications, Accessories, open the terminal and obtain root user rights. Then type this command apt get install bind9. Then you can install the bind package. Or alternatively, you can obtain it the other way as well using Synaptics Package Manager. DNS server can be a caching server or an authoritative server or both. Okay, let's first implement a caching DNS server on our machine. For this purpose, we can use any editor. We are using Wim editor. Go to the command line and type this command to open name.conf.options file. In this file, we place the IP address of the DNS server of our ISP so that our server may forward the request to a higher DNS server in case it does not have the information for it. So we are giving the IP address of seeks that is 10.3.20.10. Now, we are configuring our own DNS server on the address of the local host which is 127.0.0.1 and it, it's listening on the port 53. We are uh, configuring it on this address as you can see there. Save the file and go to resolve.con file and give the address of your local host here. Now for instance, we resolve www.yahoo.com into its IP address using take. Now the response we get is as follows. As you can see that the query time that it took was 1800 millisecond. Now let's again dig in. This time around, the response time we observe is 4 millisecond. Now this is basically the concept of caching. Now let's add our own zone files to make it an authoritative DNS server. You will, give, you will go to named.conf.local file and then here you will add your own zone files where you can find sample zone files on the internet. There is one file for the forward lookup and one file for the reverse lookup as you can see here. A zone file is a text file that describes a DNS zone. Save this file and now make a directory using this command. Now we are making an authoritative name server that means we will be adding a resource record in our DNS server and it will be answering the requests for it. Now using this command make that file which in which we will in which we will be adding that resource record. Like uh, for example, I am creating spartans.dccn.db as an example domain. Now I would be adding here the resource record that contains the information regarding IP addresses, name servers, mail servers for this particular domain. Similarly, I would be creating a reverse uh, file that would be responsible for resolving the IP address into its domain name. Here I am pasting that information that contains the serial number, refresh rate, minimum caching time in case of failed lookup. Now after getting these things done, I would restart my bind server so that all the information is acknowledged. The next step is to test your bind server. You can test your bind server using the host command like host 
spartans.dccn 127.0.0.1 So the reply we are getting is, is telling us that we are using our own DNS server. Now let's dig the domain we have just created. dig.spartans.dccn Here we have got the reply. The status is no error which means our request has been handled successfully. Now let's add our own DNS resource record into our zone file. Open the same file and let's add over here BEE5D class IN type is A which is means which means the IP address 10.330 sorry 30.0.50 Save the file and similarly do the corresponding changes in the reverse mapping file so that if anyone wishes to dig the domain name using the IP address he may do so. Save this file and now restart the mind server. Note that you always have to restart your mind server if you make any changes in the resource records on any of the files. Now let's dig the domain bwe5d.spartans.dccn our request has been processed successfully. Now let's analyze some Wireshark captures. Wireshark is a network protocol analyzer which captures the live traffic on your NIC card. Here you can see the DNS queries are shown in the Wireshark. The name, time, source, destination and the protocol is shown. There are certain security issues while using DNS servers. These security issues may be addressed. For example, phishing, routing to some other website. There are some other DNS problems. Thank you very much. So that was all from our side. For more credits, see the subsequent slides. Piyamanta.